Okay, so Avant Code Day 2, um, Part A, uh, and I've had a little read of this, and basically what I need to do is kind of pass uh, this, uh, this forward down up, uh, and forward and get the value, um, and you need to multiply the depth by the horizontal position. Um, so I'm using JQ term again, already put in the dummy data. Um, I've got the manual handy, I've got my recipes handy as well, which is on remyshop.com slash draft slash recipes. They're just kind of bits that I capture every now and then. Um, I find it quite helpful. Um, so because of this being this kind of string, um, it's not JSON, so I need to slurp it. Well, no, sorry, I don't need to slurp it. I need to do it as raw first. Um, but you'll see that breaks it into five uh, values. So if I do length, not five, six, um, it's treating these as uh, individual expressions. So I need to slurp them all into one thing. Um, so I get one long string. So I'm going to split on new line. You notice I have an empty new line because of this one down here. So I can either get rid of it or I can clean it up. Uh, using this, which I do use in a lot of my um, uh, previous years. So I'll right trim the empty line. Um, then I'm going to map this into an object that is structured a little bit. So we've got direction. Um, oh, hang on, sorry, I need to split that first by space and then map it into direction. What have I got wrong here? Missing a bracket. Now oh my split, it's back up there. There we go. <clears throat> so I've got the direction, and then I've got the value um, dot one, and then two number, so I can do some maths on it. Um, and now I need to reduce this so that I can kind of add these numbers up and move forward and backwards. So reduce is kind of funky. Um, uh, I can't find it in here. Uh, actually, I don't tend to use the manual for reduce. I tend to use my recipes and just look for reduce and remind myself of the syntax. So reduce, you kind of unwind each of the elements in your array and name it as a variable. And then you have your initial state. Um, and then dot refers to the value you're passing. No, dot refers to this and dollar item refers to that, if that makes sense. So I'm going to stick a reduce at the beginning. Um, and what am I getting out of this? I've got an array. So I need to unwind that as dollar uh, oh no, item or move, let's call it. And then we put brackets. And then we're going to have um, depth is zero and h pos equals zero. And then we are going to do if. Uh, dollar move dot dir equals forward then dot h pos plus equals dollar move dot value i'm just going to do else dot end and it breaks why does it break we've got an error Where am I missing it? Uh, it's saying <clears throat> the reduce. Do I need this all in brackets? Maybe. Ah, okay. There you go. <clears throat> so my H position is 15, and from the sample it says the h position 15 so that's looking good then i need to add in a bit more logic for um the other directions so i'm going to do this one and this is going to be elif because that's how jquery jq works dir equals um and i think down adds to your depth there we go so if direction is down then uh, dot depth plus equals this um, and then the else which is going to be up is going to be minus equals so that should give us oh what's happening there my bad coder me oops 
Anyway, um, oh man, Curse has gone nuts. H death. Oh no, that's supposed to be minus. Okay. <clears throat> I do not know why. I want to put an S in the middle of there. It's really messing up. Just to lose it together. Depth minus equals dollar move dot value. Okay, so now I need to do dot depth times dot h pos, and there is the puppy. So 150, that is 150. So let's get our puzzle input and dump that into there. And I got a value. Let's see if that's right. Yeah, cool. Okay, so I'm going to move on to part two. I'm going to pause the video whilst I read this and uh, digest it and unpause and hopefully crack it. So uh, I've just finished reading this and I think I've got my head around it. Basically, uh, instead of just going up and down, we've got this aim property. Um, and really, the only time that the depth and the horizontal position changes is in the forward movement and the up and down change the aim. Um, so I'm going to kind of keep most of my code here um, and just modify it for this new logic. Uh, and the forward affects the depth as well as the h position and I need to add an aim value. So um, let's set uh, aim, oh, aim zero. Is that right? No, hang on, I messed that up already. Wow, that didn't take long. Uh, let's put that at the beginning. So uh, aim is zero. Um, let's go back to the sample code as well because I can check that it works. Um, <clears throat> so let's dump it into there. And now the forward. So this is the uh, up and down changes the depth, uh, the aim rather, so um, in exactly the same way. Uh, and then this affects the horizontal. So it increases the horizontal position by X and increases your depth by the multiplier, uh, aim multiplied by X. So um, this then becomes, uh, what does it become? Uh, dot depth times equals dollar move dot value. That's not good, is it? <clears throat> oh, wait, no, that's why. Wait, so what you got? Depth is zero. Seems well. Yeah, we're supposed to have 60 and 15. So we got H position of 15 and a depth of 60. And I've ended up with an H position of 15 and a depth of zero. That looks suspiciously wrong, doesn't it? So what I'm gonna do is stick debug in here, see what's going on. So depth is always zero. Oh, because it starts at zero. Oh, you silly sod. Um, oh, it increases oh, the value, the depth increases your depth by multiplying aim by x. I mean, a typo there, haven't I? Um, so, <clears throat> the oh my lord, it doesn't like that value s. I've got to fix that. Uh, this is actually plus equals um, dot aim times move dot value. So that looks right to me, but it's erroring. Um, cannot be multiplied. So what's it saying? These errors aren't super useful. So null and number can't be multiplied. Why does it think that surely yeah.
question marks kind of make it optional. Um, I'm going to run that through debug. Oh, it's not even wiping it. So it doesn't like. <clears throat> I'm going to comment that out and then do debug. Why is it not like that? Oh god, when you're just debugging syntax, it's so not interesting. Let's try just changing this to one. Okay, so it doesn't like referencing dot depth. That works. Uh, mm, whoops. Put the game in the wrong place. So anyone watching that called it right at the beginning. What a mess up. There we go. And now we're going to do dot depth times dot hpos. Get rid of the debug. And we have 900. Wait, what? Uh, there you go, 900. Okay, so that is the 900 we're looking for there. Grab the original puzzle input. Copy that into the puzzle input. And give that a little wiggle. There you go, drop it into the thing. And Bob's your father's brother. Made it. Okay, so that's how to do it in JQ. So uh, what we're looking at, reduce, uh, right trim, split, mapping, and if statements. Yeah. Cool stuff. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.